My name is Pepper, and I'm speaking on behalf of all animals today. While we love America, we hate the 4th of July. Does this face look like it's amused by literal explosions in the sky? Also, a lot of us pets get lost on the 4th, and animal shelters become overrun with unamused patriots like me. Luckily, there's a few things you, my hairless friend, can do to make it better. Get me microchipped. This is the only permanent form of ID. I'm friggin' Indiana Jones on four legs and have been known to wiggle out of my collar. And because a microchip isn't a GPS, you need to register the chip or else you're chip out of luck. Pun intended. Make sure I have a collar and ID. Okay, this is a duh, but it's really important. I might hate my collar sometimes, but it's a must. Plus, I look cute in it, and beauty is pain. Whether it's an animal safe over-the-counter deal or something prescribed by your vet, a calming aid will help me get through the night. Also, try an anti-anxiety vest. I don't know why this works, but it does. Oh, I almost forgot. All this info goes for cats, too. I'm not on the best of terms with the feline crowd, so I'm telling you all this out of the kindness of my heart. So you know what to do. Keep me in a safe place, remember to close the doors and windows, and have fun celebrating the birth of our nation while I cower and wait for it to all be over. Ugh, why can't humans just run in circles or sniff each other's butts? Who knows why humans do anything?